Hello, this video is going to be talking about the Duke of Buckingham, George Villiers. This video will be helpful for students studying A-level history and the OCR exam board, specifically the early Stuarts and the origins of the Civil War, 1603 to 1660. So George Villiers was a courtier and a favourite of King James I of England and the sixth of Scotland. He was born in 1582 and died in 1628. George had a great influence on King James and later on his son Charles I. He was one of the main people blamed for the foreign policies that led to the civil war between the parliamentarians and the royalists. George was born to a knight who made it possible for him to meet James I in 1614. One of the main reasons he is so well known is because of his suspected relationship with James I. They frequently took part in public displays of affection and called each other nicknames like Sweetheart and Wife, which was bringing a lot of negative attention to the pair. George was also well known for commissioning patents of him with his legs displayed in an attractive pose. He frequently made reference to his legs and made them a centre of attention in a lot of his portraits, which is seen here above. The close-knit potential romantic relationship was the catalyst for George to start increasing his family's fortune. He took every opportunity he could to marry his family off to wealthier individuals or people with more power. George was also involved in the marriage agreement between Prince, later King, Charles and the Princess of Spain. However, this unfortunately failed. He was also later instrumental in pressurising James to go to war with Spain. When James I died, George stayed in favour with Charles I after becoming close friends. A huge turning point in George's life is when he failed to properly organise a land expedition in Spain, which led to a bill to remove him as Duke in 1626. However, because of his close friendship with Charles, Charles decided to dissolve Parliament to save him. Later, when England began a war with France, George led a group of troops but again failed. Parliament tried again in 1628 to get George removed from his position but Charles still refused. However, five days later, he was stabbed to death by John Felton, who was previously under his command.